Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com. And one of the questions I see a lot on our forums is how long should I fish a bait? How long should I stick with a technique or, or fish an area before I pack it up and try something else? Well, to answer that question, let me, let me give you something you can associate with. You know how long it's going to take for you to drive to work or to drive to your friend's house or to the mall or someplace like that and you know the route you're going to take. You have a pretty good idea. You've done it enough times. And if you've done it quite a bit, you've encountered situations where the traffic's been really poor. And you've tried alternative routes and you've learned different routes to go. And when you come across that situation, say you're trying to get to work and traffic's really bad, it's all backed up, there comes a point where you realize, you know what, if I take one of those alternate routes, I can get to work faster. There's this inflection point where you realize, hey, most of the time that alternate route, it isn't very fast, it, it's not the way to go, but today it is, all right? There's a decision that happens there, and it's based upon your expectations from previous experience. When it's not matching that expectation, that's when the decision process begins. That's when you start to look at alternates, right? So how does that apply to bass fishing? Well, again, when I ask, you know, I, I go out with pros. I've been out fishing with pros. I've been out fishing, you know, I, I, I talk to them a lot. I see them several times a year at the Classic and at ICAST, and we talk to them on the phone. And occasionally this question comes up and this topic comes up. And when I ask them about that, how long do you fish a certain area? Or how long do you fish a lure or technique? It, it's usually two, two answers. One is either when I no longer have confidence in it or when I don't feel I'm gonna, when I don't feel I'm gonna get a bite. So what that means is if they're fishing a certain lure, say for example, a certain lure technique, based upon past experience, they have an idea of how well that's gonna produce given the current conditions. How Ooh, many fish they should probably go. get in an hour, say for example, and how far, the, how far apart those bites would be. Small say for example, the summer, you're gonna get a lot of bites, you should catch a lot of fish when the fish are active. If it's in the winter time, say so you're drop shotting, maybe you're only catching one or two fish for the whole day, right? But they know what it is, they, based on expectations. And it's when those expectations aren't met during the current conditions while they're fishing, that's again, that's when that inflection point happens. If they realize, hey, this isn't working, they go down a stretch, say a 300 yard stretch, and you look at it and say, hey, look, I could probably pluck five or six fish off this. You get two thirds, three quarters of the way down and you haven't caught a single fish. That's when it's not meeting those expectations based upon past experiences. That's when you make a change. When, again, what they say is, when I don't feel I'm gonna get a bite. What makes the difference between pros and the weekend angler is the pros they always feel they're gonna get a bite at every single cast. They are on point. They know when as soon as they make that cast, there's a possibility they're gonna get bit. They're watching the line, they're feeling the rod, they're feeling the lure go through the water column, they know exactly what it's doing. You know, they're ready to set the hook. They're primed, they're ready to go. It's when those expectations aren't met, again, when I don't feel I'm gonna get a bite, that's when they change up. So that's your answer. How long do you fish a certain lure or technique or a certain area when you don't have confidence anymore, when you don't feel you're going to get a bite in that technique based upon your past experiences? I hope that helps. For more tips and tricks like this, visit BassResource.com. Hey, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you want to watch more videos like this, click one of the images on your screen right now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.